everyone thinks that it's a bad idea, but people just follow the flow. My friends think that, you know, it's a burger craze, but do you think it's going to last? I told them that, no, um, I, I think that I saw something a, a bit different. Because, um, you know, that's where we think that there's a market for it. So I went in with my partner, we worked in the stall, and <laughs> eventually it grew. Abang Burn exists, he's in the company, but we don't reveal who he is. The reason why his name is Abang Burn is because last time when he grilled steaks, the steaks got burned. You talk about Abang Burn, it was the Supremo, definitely. The, the burgers, succulent juicy burger. And I think I can't wait for our new recipe next week to come in um, the, with the mushroom, mushroom goreng, and also the onion rings on top uh, with cheese, of course. And to top it up with more cheesy sauce on top. So I, I think that's the best burger that I've felt for our Abang Burn. When you start your business as a burger seller, you just focus on selling. But when you have three outlets, you focus on managing. When you have 22 outlets, you are focused more on how do I make sure that every single person at the end of the month gets fed. So uh, it goes to maintaining the income or whatnot. It, it, it's, it's a totally different game. It's not, it, it, it's not, it's beyond burgers. Hi, I'm Sabri. I'm Nurul. I'm Nadri. We, we are, are from Burger Bakar Abang, Abang Ben. See you at the I Eat Burger event. This 7th of June, 2014. At Padang Timur Petaling Jaya. Jom, Jom Burger Bakar! Bakar.